Little one is sleeping right now. I finally, again, got to take a nice long shower. I do have clothes on. Don't get your minds twisted. <laughs> but I'm getting ready right now while he's sleeping. We got invited to a mom's group a little bit awkward it, in the beginning thoughts, but it's okay. I was like, you know what? Inclusive, I'm glad they're including me. I found out that there is another uh, mom in that group, parent in that group um, that is also fostering a child. So that's really, really sweet, cute, nice. So we're gonna do that. And then I told you guys in the last video that um, my friend is dedicating their child today at their church. So we're gonna head over to a church locally here and go watch that. So that's gonna be really cute. Um, I'm gonna get dressed and then get him dressed and get out of here. So let's do this. Let's get this thing started. So I wanna talk a little bit about this mom's group though, because, you know, I did a podcast. I was on, um, so Kalugo, the stroller company, they had me on their podcast. And I did that last um, week and I was talking about how I don't really like, since I've had baby S, obviously I've been much more in the parent space and things like that. And I have noticed that there's so many companies that talk about moms and they'll say mama and, you know, hey moms and, you know, foster moms. And there's even a company called Four Moms and everyone says you should use gripe water and I went to go pick up gripe water because he was having problems with gas and the, the literal name of the company is something mama or something like that mama's spirit or something and I just there are some really awesome dads out there and it sucks to have to like even talk about this in the world that we live in and I think as a company if you were a company and you acknowledged that you use a name like moms or for mom or mama that and you change the name of your company i think you would it would be such a great like social experiment and it would really help your brand as a company because i literally don't like there are companies i wanted to purchase products from and i wouldn't buy it because they're they only like they so heavily i need some chapstick my lips are like killing me um, they so heavily market to uh, moms only. And sorry, but that's kind of annoying because I bust my ass. And anyway, so that's just a thing. But when I got invited to this group, oh my gosh, don't you hate when this happens to your chapstick? <laughs> when I got invited to my this group, honestly, like I felt a little bit I guess I felt a little bit like hypocritical because I had literally just had a conversation about um, on that podcast about moms and like representing dads as well. So when I was like invited to this group for moms, own, like a mom's group, I was just like, I don't know, is this hypocritical for, hypocritical for me to go to? However, I will say that I thought about it and I was like, what? you don't have to be so, it's a lot of, I also need lotion on my face. You don't have to be so like hypersensitive around it. Like it's not a big deal. And it if I by going I get an opportunity to like show a dad doing his doing the damn thing. You know what I mean? So and I do want to meet people. I want to meet other parents. I want to meet other kids and all of these moms have wow, that's just hit me because I, I always feared that I don't know people for him to grow up with. I wanna meet people that are have newborns or are about to have newborns and that maybe he could meet and grow up in that time. And we could talk about the things that are, that are tough for us and the struggles and the things that we go through. So all of this to say that I'm going to the mom's group <laughs> and we'll see. We'll see how it is. I might be really uncomfortable and decide it's not for me. And that's one thing I've learned in life. Like I don't have to stick through something just because others want me to do it. Like I can do what I want, when I want, how I want, if I want. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I've been posting some awesome photos on Instagram. You guys might want to check them out. Um, 
because there's some really fun, cool photos and they are getting so many likes and so much conversation around them. And I always try to put really thoughtful things in the captions. I don't do stupid like inspirational quote quotes. I talk about real stuff that I actually think about and curate. So check them out. There's my handle, there's my stuff right there. All right, I'm gonna get him ready, get him dressed. Oh, and side note, the Mama Roo swing. If you guys watched that other video, it is working so well. He is passed out and I'm telling you, like, it took a little bit, like, for him to, and when I say a little bit, it took a couple of days for him to get used to the swing. And I found that if I can calm him down, I can put him in it and he gets used to it. And now it's to the point where if he's really ever fussing, I'm not just throwing him in a swing anyway, I'm kind of calming him, but he can be a little fussy and I put him down and then that swing will just, you know, get him either calming, like there's times where he'll just play with the stuff at the top or he'll, you know, just look around the room or fall right asleep. But I will say, I do think it's priced too much. I don't think the swing is worth that much money um, as much as it is, but whatever, I'm really grateful to have it. But let's get him out of here and um, get him dressed. We did it. It took me forever to decide what he should wear. Okay, so here's the deal. These suckers, these little cute jeans, they're cute, but they look super frumpy. Uh, so, cause like, no. Okay. These cute little pants, shorts are really cute, but they're just too big. So I find like the only thing I like, first off, can we get some skinny jeans for babies, for infants? These are really cute. They're just simple. They're sleek. I like it. We're good to go. Let's go, buddy. Say bye. Say bye, everyone. We're going to go to the mom's group. Let's go. He did it. <laughs> oh, my God. We're here. Mom's group. I guess I'm an honorary mom, right? What do you think, buddy? Am I? That goes to show, goes to say, like, I do try and get him around as many females as possible just so he gets that, you know, female energy. Because I can only provide so much, like, I guess female energy. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I think, oh my God, I think this is them. I'm nervous. I'm nervous and scared. But, all right, I'm going to go. I'm not going to film everyone because kind of rude. Bye guys. Oh, that was so fun. So he's asleep. Um, <laughs> it's so crazy because I was like, at, I was the only one with like a newborn right now. There's others that have newborns at this group, but they were not there today. And oh my God, I got asked so many questions. And it's like nice because you know, I do have the experience, like I had to change his diaper and they were all like, you're gonna change his diaper? Okay, we need to watch this. And I asked about, you know, just different things, Desodin and we talked about pacifiers and all these other things on like sleep training and what it's like and how I'm doing this by myself. And it was really nice to get these questions and just like be seen as a parent that's doing a good job. Um, but at the same time, it was like, oh, guys, I'm also new at this. <laughs> but I'm definitely coming back when you're going to do this. I think every other Sunday, they want, they want to continue doing this. And there were other, you know, husbands there and things like that. So that was really nice. But I needed this. I needed to, like, get out with other people. I think, you know, I think we all need it right now with COVID. But also, you know, I need to be around other parents and just, you know, see other kids and things. 
It was a lot of fun. I had a good time. So right now we're headed out. I changed. I was wearing a t-shirt. Um, I'm going to go to the church for the dedication and uh, do that. So, oh, I thought he was asleep, but he's moving right now. So, all right, let me get this car moving because that will help him fall asleep. And we all want that. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Oh my God. So I'm totally late and the service already started. It's all outside and it's in Spanish. I don't know Spanish, <laughs> but I'm here to show my support. Okay. Well, there goes that. So I was late and apparently the service is so large they have overflow seating outside. And I would have sat outside, but it's too hot for the baby. And I'm just not gonna do that with the baby. <clears throat> so I went up to the usher and I said, hey, is there any way I can sit like in the back of the church? It's way too hot out here for the baby. He said, it's too full. So I do feel bad because I really wanted to see my friend's daughter do this, but at the same time, like, what am I supposed to do? Like, I don't know. I had no idea this thing was so large. Like, I didn't know that there was, this church was so big and there was going to be an overflow. Like, it's kind of crazy. But it is what it is. Anyway. We made it. We're now at my friend's house for the little after gathering. Uh, so we were late. We didn't make it into the service, but we hung out. This dude had a major, major poop. And um, we got him all cleaned up. And now we're here. We're gonna have some bomb carne asada and just hang out with family and friends and love life and enjoy and celebrate this uh, little girl's milestone stepping into, you know, her faith. So yeah, time to have fun. We have gotten so much love. I wish you guys knew how how loving this family has been to me over the years and. They are just like amazing and everyone is just saying how baby S is family and they love him. This is what life's about guys. I know like everyone wants to, I don't know, whatever. Just like this is what life's about. I'm so grateful. So he's asleep, passed out, he just ate. I had some bomb Mexican food. I mean authentic Mexican food. Can't ask for more. So now we gotta go cut the cake. So let's do that. Well, we are home. This little man right here, he's about to get his diaper changed. Yes, he is. He did, he just had a wonderful day. He was a nice, calm little boy all day. And let's see, we need these number two diapers. Because we have progressed to number two. Because he's a big boy. Yes, he is. And he's growing. But no, that was a really good day. I unfortunately missed the service because we were a little bit late. But that's okay. We hung out in the parking lot and just waited after the um, service. Got lots of chapstick on my lips. And everyone came out and I got to, you know, see them. And it's just wonderful because my friend is moving out of state and we've known each other for so long. And it was just a really wonderful time to spend time with him and his daughters and his wife and their family. And I mean, these are people I've known for years and I'm just excited to, I'm excited for them and it was really nice to look at the two of us, you know, myself and Nick, with kids and the amount of joy and love that's surrounding us. And for them to just be so excited about baby S and so like, we're just praying for you and you are, you are a part of this family and we celebrate you and we love you. and. For Nick's, my friend Nick, his in-law, to just, you know, 
hold baby S and see how comfortable he was with her and that grandmother, you know, love that she has just is amazing. And it makes me feel so connected and so loved. So it was a good day today. We are going to take a bath now. Um, well, actually I'm gonna feed him first. He's a little bit hungry. Uh, so I'm gonna feed him and then we're gonna do a bath. His hair has been blowing in the wind in the car. Um, and I know he's gonna pass out tonight and I think we're gonna have a good night's sleep because he, oops, oh, oh. okay. I know we're gonna have a good night's sleep because he was up a lot today in the sun and you know those days when you're a kid and you just have like a day in the sun and you're tired after and you get a bath or a shower and then you just sleep so well. I think that's the night we're gonna have. So him and me both. So let's get some food. We got the baby Brezza as normal and I'm gonna get him fed and get this, this night off to a great start. So guys, thanks for joining me today for this video, for this journey. I'm now officially in a mom's group and um, we made it to the celebration. We made it, oh, oh, I didn't even tell you guys. So, hold on, hold on. So, I didn't even tell you guys that the, I didn't realize that this was also my friend's daughter's birthday, her third birthday. So I show up there and like, I knew everyone was getting together after the birthday, but I didn't, I'm sorry, after the celebration to like celebrate her dedication. And then they start putting all these like birthday, like pink birthday balloons and birthday like princess things all. I'm like, wait a minute guys, whose birthday is it? They're like, oh, it's Bella's birthday. I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't know. So that was really sweet to like, you know, be there for her birthday as well. And it was just a really, really good day. So I'm tired. I wanna get I wanna get this evening going. I know he's gonna pass out. Right after that bath, he's gonna pass out. So all right guys, I love you. He loves you. Look at these little baby feet. Look at these little baby feet. Oh, I could just eat them. Bye, bye, bye.